why is the method of the least squares called like that? So, where are these least squares in the least squares method? And what does this mean for our line and our data points? You will see that the least squares method is actually exactly minimizing what you intuitively want to be minimized. The distances from your data points to the optimal line. So let's take a look why the least squares methods works like that in this video. So here we have our x's and y's, our data points, and we have found the least squares line y equals 0.1 plus 1.1 times x. Now I want to draw the data points and the line in one figure, so I compute it for x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, which, uh, what the points on the line are, where are. So we have y equals 0.1 plus 1.1 times x, so the y's of the line are 0.1. If you plug in x equals 1, we get 0.1 plus 1.1 times 1 equals 1.2. And if you plug in x equals 2, we find y equals 0.1 plus 2 times 1.1 equals 2.3, and so for the third point. So the white dots over here are the data points, the red dots over here are the points on the optimal line which we computed over there. So that was our line. Now first we want to compute b hat because we want information about z, the least squares error. Where is the least squares error in this figure over here? Well, b hat equals a times x hat with our matrix A as before, we have computed our x hat, and here we have our b hat factor 0.1, 1.2, 2.3, 3.4. Wait a minute, but that's a coincidence. That's exactly the numbers of the y coordinates over here. So now we see how we can find the b hats in the figure. The b hats, so for example, the third component of b hat is exactly here, the third red dot. Whereas the third component of B, the 1, is actually the third white dot. Similarly, over here, four, B had 4 and B4, for example. So now we can locate both the components of B and the components of B hat in the figure. And what were we actually minimizing? Well, we minimize the length of set. Well, if we minimize the length of the set, we can also minimize the length of set squared, that's the same. So equivalently, we can minimize the length of set squared. So what is the length of set squared? Well, length of set squared equals the length of b minus b hat squared, and writing it out in components, we find b first component minus b hat first component plus b second component minus b hat second component, and so on until the fourth component. So there are our least squares. We are actually minimizing the sum in this case of four squares. But where are our least squares in the figure? Well, we are minimizing, for example, this term is over here, b3 minus b3 hat squared. But in the figure, we can see where that is. b3 is over there, b3 hat above that. So we are minimizing the distance between b3 and b3 hat. So we are minimizing the distance of the sum of the third data point to the line plus this distance plus that distance plus that distance. So we are actually minimizing the sum of all the distances to the line, and that's exactly what we want to do 